Hey everyone! So, it's been a few days since our fresh start with this past new moon on Sunday, where we were invited to reconnect with the moon's rhythms and cycles once again, but this time on a deeper level with a much more expansive perspective as we begin our new journey around the zodiac. We were also called to put action in motion towards our wishes, goals, and desires. And so for this lunar reflection, I'd like to share some personal experiences with you as some of my experiences may relate to what's going on in your life and your new moon wishes. In our daily life, we are often faced with unexpected outcomes, challenges, differences in expectations, especially with timing, and of course the great unknown that we navigate every single day. I, for one, have been working with the moon for over a year on trying to sell my house, and no matter how hard I tried, no matter how beautiful my house may be, even despite our write-up in Philadelphia Magazine, and no matter how many times I planted my request into the fertile grounds of our magical moon during her new moon phase with elaborate rituals and ceremony, it just simply wasn't in the cards last year. And there's a great lesson in that because everything has its divine timing. So if you've been working with the moon on something really big in your life and it hasn't worked out for you yet, ask yourself, is this the right timing, or is this perhaps not my path? And also, there is no harm in continuously asking and working towards the same wish every new moon until the timing is right, and that's exactly what I did. Now I find myself with my house under contract and ready to close in just two short weeks with nowhere to move because I had been wishing for a particular property with the moon and made a trip to see this house and it became clear that this house was not the house for us. Meanwhile, we also found out that there were four to five other houses we wanted that weren't for us either and with just two short weeks to move and nowhere to go, this is leaving us in a very uncertain place. So needing clarity, I went straight to my tarot cards and they gave me the same card I've pulled three times in a row over the past few months. I got the High Priestess, which in this case means to let your intuition be the guide. Well, I had already used my new moon wishes on this particular property and unbeknownst to me, it was already under contract. So, I wanted to share this with you. If you ever make a new moon wish and realize that maybe you want something different, you changed your mind, or the universe changed your mind for you, like in my case, you can always re-declare your wishes with the moon, especially if it's before the first quarter moon, which in this case happens to be Tuesday next week. So if you're looking to make any adjustments, now's your time. I would caution you to not change your wishes too frequently though, so there still remains some solid integrity and clarity with what you're asking for. But making some adjustments here and there is just part of life. It's not always clear what's going to happen in our lives, and sometimes all we have is that feeling that sits inside of us as, as our direction of where we're going and the faith that we hold in our hearts, trusting that everything will work out in divine accordance. And as I write this up, I sit here in deep, deep gratitude for the journey, as I just completed signing an offer on our beautiful new dream home. Despite the wishes I made a couple days ago for a completely different property. So, I'm curious to hear if you have any new moon wish stories you would like to share. If so, fill out a new moon reflection and I will share it with the group. And if you're feeling stuck, I'd be happy to have a one-on-one -on -one session with you that you can schedule in the top right hand corner of the Cosmic Library when you log in. And we can work together to help navigate working with your wishes and the rhythms and cycles of our powerful moon goddess. 
And if you're looking for more moon magic in your life, I added another enchanting story in the Cosmic Library about how the moon freed a wedged cargo ship from the Suez Canal. I put the link for that just below. So, I hope you all enjoyed this lunar reflection, and I look forward to hearing from you. Otherwise, I will see you for our next full moon, which is the pink super moon on April 26th. And if you want to dive deeper into exploring what the pink super moon has in store for you, you can sign up for the pink super moon mediumship circle event with Andrea Basbach Largen from Ancestral Realms and myself where we will all get a chance to learn more about what the pink supermoon has in store for us and an opportunity to ask questions and receive insight from the moon herself at a time when she is physically at her closest point to planet Earth. If you're interested, I put the link below to register for the event. So check that out. I would love to see all of your beautiful faces at that event. and. I just want to thank everyone, sending you all some peace, love, and happiness as we journey once more through the Zodiac. Thank you guys.